Welcome Spiritual Hustlers to 53 Days of Mindfulness with Exo and Hustle presented by Self Hired. I am so excited to have you here. We're about to spend the next 53 days together sharing and dropping knowledge on how to bring spirituality to your grind so you can balance your growth with your hustle. This series is based off the Mindfulness Deck, an actionable 55 card deck designed to take you on a journey of self-understanding, healing, and habit building. The Mindfulness Deck is now available for pre-order at excellenthustle.com. And remember, I love hearing your breakthroughs, so make sure you join the conversation online at Hustle on Instagram. All right, let's get into it. Today's episode is brought to you by Delush CBD. Delush is a holistic lifestyle company that infuses hemp CBD into your favorite wellness and skincare products. Since we're all about love and good vibes, Delush CBD products are thoughtfully curated with non-toxic ingredients and are cruelty free. Every product is handmade with all that love and good good. You can use the discount code EXOANDHUSTLE for 15% off your next order at delush.ca. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to 53 Days of Mindfulness. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about flow. In today's card, it's called Allow Your Energy to Flow. You will see a woman who is doing down dog in front of a beautiful mirror with some beautiful candles just glowing, and she looks so focused and so there and so in the moment. She's just in her practice, if that makes sense. Like she is in the midst of what she's doing. The idea of flow is so interesting to me because I represented it with yoga and I want to talk to you guys about yoga, but I also want to talk about the idea of flow first. The idea of flow is that you get lost in the current motion. You are fluid in what you are doing. You are in the midst of it in this, you're, you're swimming in it, you know? And I like, I think that you can achieve this through ultimately whatever makes you happy. So for instance, sometimes I find flow in yoga, but other times I find flow when I'm painting. I find flow when I'm, you know, just like going for a walk or driving or singing or going out to the club and listening to him DJ. I don't know. But essentially flow is just being in what you're like doing what you're doing and being lost in it, just being totally encapsulated by it and just being in the midst of it. So the reason why I wanted to show you guys this through yoga is because yoga is an incredible way to start to achieve flow in your everyday life. So before we go any further, I actually wrote down this dope um, description of what yoga is before I had sat down to record because I felt like it just encapsulated everything that yoga truly is. So yoga is a systematic practice of physical exercise, breath control, relaxation, diet control, and positive thinking, and meditation aimed at developing harmony in the body, mind, and environment. Yo, I don't think I could have said that that eloquently my motherfucking self. Yoga is a game changer and it's a game changer in so many different areas of our life. So the way that we're going to work through what what yoga is and how it brings flow into our lives is through breaking this down. So let's say yoga is a systematic practice of physical exercise. So there's a system to the way that you move in yoga. It's purposeful and it's intentful and it brings like specific results, right? Then there's breath control. Breath control is so insane. I remember one of the first days um, in my early yoga practices where the woman had said, breathe into it, breathe into it. And I was doing pigeon pose and yo, anyone who knows what pigeon pose is, it's not fun when you got to do that for five minutes straight, okay? But learning how to breathe into my discomfort has taught me how to breathe into my discomfort in a meeting or in a conversation about my feelings or in any situation that challenges me. It's taught me that if I know how to control my breath, yo, I can control a lot. Let's keep going. Let's go to relaxation, Shavasana, that moment where you're just laying and your being is so 
powerful and so important because it allows you to practice surrender, surrender to the moment, surrender to the now because there is only power in this very, very moment. Let's keep going. Diet control. Okay. What you put into your body, you are. So if you've heard that, you know, your cells regenerate every seven years, just think, what did I eat today that's going to make my body in seven years, you know? What am I going to eat today after I go work out? How am I adding nutrition to my body? How am I... Um, how much water am I drinking to feed my body and keep me going? It's like this vessel that we can either put shit into or like nutrients into. So what are you doing and are you balancing that? You know, I'm not I'm not ever going to be the person to say, don't go and have pizza or don't go and eat this because I love I love food. I love eating different things. But at the same time, the majority of what you eat, is that fueling you or is it hurting you? All right, let's go, let's go. Positive thinking and meditation aimed at developing harmony in the body, minds, and environment. Okay, so positive thinking. Positive thinking, I feel like, is you can look at the glass half empty or half full, right? You can look at life as it's happening to you or for you. Yoga allows you to look at things in such a different way, in a way where you're like, yes, there are moments of discomfort, but after those moments of discomfort comes stillness, comes flow, comes joy, and allows you to like actually experience that physically so that you can compute that mentally. When you're developing harmony and meditation within your body, mind, and environment, you're able to control yourself you're able to control your thoughts, decide the thoughts that you want to think, and you're able to express your body in a healthy and effective way, which internally affects you and also externally affects you because then you're going to start to attract that same frequency to you. So today's tool is number one, if you've never tried yoga, give it a try because I really truly think that yoga is like one of the best practices that I'll keep with me till the very end of time. But also, let's just take it one step further. And I want you guys to go and put yourself in a zone where you're practicing flow. So if you love painting, if you love bike riding, if you love um, singing, I want you to do whatever you get lost in and just do it. Go and immerse yourself in it and get lost in it because that satiates your soul and your spirit in ways that I can't even like... I can't describe to you. Those are things that you can only really feel, you know? So go and do that. Tell me how it goes in the comments and or even just like what you're going to do because I would love to learn new ways to incorporate flow into my life. And today's Don't Mind My Hustle affirmation is may I allow the energy to flow through my body effortlessly. Until next time, keep being the spiritual hustler you already are. Continue strengthening your intuition offline by pre-ordering the mindfulness deck at exoandhustle.com. If you enjoyed this episode, subscribe and share with all your friends so you can all bring spirituality to your hustle. Until next time, keep being the spiritual hustler you already are.